Yo, what's up, guys? So today I'm gonna be taking you for my arm workout. <laughs> Don't do that. So what I think. I'm not even like, dude, this is like, no, I'm eating my blueberry. Oh. Go. Oh. Bro. Right now, I'll be sharing with you guys how to <laughs> To tell you the truth, the secret is once when you start lifting, you just. <laughs> if you do grow that fast, bro, it's like incredible. There's definitely ways you can do it naturally. It's the only way to do it. <laughs> Okay, you heard it. Enjoy. Free speak your peace. Stay humble, stay humble in these streets, yeah. In these streets. Let's go. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch. Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost. Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. Subway stations with the maps in the cars. Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on. Statue of Yo, yo, all right guys, so from this, uh, from the previous clip, you saw me having my breakfast. So welcome to the vlog, it's Roma checking in. So today I'll be taking you through my day and we got a few things. If you've seen it already with the time lapse, we just completely rearrange the house, tidy up a little bit, it's the weekend. That's what we usually do. Now, we're about to do some arms. So I've got my arm workout. I want to take you guys for it. It's quite interesting because the whole dynamics are completely different compared to doing an arm workout in the gym. That's why the restrictions that we have, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot of good fun. And they get a sick pump. I've just had my pre-workout, by the way. Yeah, I just took pre-workout before an arm workout. I feel like I need it. Like the last few days, last year, the last few two weeks have been pretty intense, obviously with the whole creation. Um, launch a new product, so do check them out. Make sure to uh, check out Creation right now, there's some sick stuff. Anyways, have a pre workout, ready to train, just watch some Ronnie Coleman motivation videos to get things pumping. So, guys, let's get it. Yo, what's up, guys? So today I'm going to be taking you from my arm workout. So this arm workout is very similar to what I do in the gym, but with a few variables and additions to really get creative with the workout. So you see in a second. Right now I've got a pretty good pump. One of my favorite uh, muscles to train. All we have is dumbbells and resistance bands, which is what we're using to attack both the triceps, the lateral head, long head, medial head. I'll talk more about that. And then obviously we've got the long head and short head with the bicep. Straight off the bat, we're doing dumbbell curls alternating curls by the way so that's a useful thing to know when you're approaching exercise especially unilateral movement or any exercise that can be attacked unilaterally you need to understand how that could affect the performance of your workout because if we're doing both arms at the same time but then unilaterally obviously this exercise is going to take longer you're using up more energy however if we do it at the same time it's going to be shorter which means that the exercise and duration of the exercise is going to be a lot shorter so if you decide to go like this ideally 8 to 12 reps and then if you do alternating it is a good time to take advantage of the contraction take your time focus on each arm especially if you've got lagging muscle groups because a lot of you guys ask me yo how do I attack lagging muscle groups now I say implement a unilateral movement so you can concentrate on each side on that body part one thing that I've done personally I'll do a hammer curl and pronate into the movement I used to pronate into the movement however now I really want to focus just on the contraction, stretching the bicep, top to bottom. Just that motion without recruiting the brachialis. So just that movement. Now when you implement the pronation, it's easier to go heavier. Whereas this is a little bit harder to go heavier. However, it's not about the weight, it's about the contraction and the repetition. So the next movement, again, just like a tricep cable push down, we're gonna use resistance bands. You know, get yourself, you know, get hold of these. Draw affordable on Amazon. So imagine there's like a horizontal plane. So live like, I don't know, like a foot or two. When you grab it, just like a trusted cable push down, get your elbows nice and tucked in, grip it nice and firm, and just pull, contract. Because it's a resistance band. So the strength curve 
It's very different to if you're using a cable. So, <laughs> don't do that. So, what I take advantage on both uh, both sides of the movement. So it's what? Contracting, and then eccentric, contraction, eccentric. Because it's a resistance band. It's uh, tension on both sides of the movement, so yeah. That's it guys, so let's get started. Next exercise, we're going to be doing some hammer curls. Oh, hammer curls are a great way to build strength and overall thickness, especially width of your biceps. So I feel like this is a hugely underrated exercise. I, I barely see a lot of people do hammer curls in the gym, to be honest with you. I'm one of the very few people amongst the boys that we actually do hammer curls, especially for like a religious set, which is four sets heavy, completely balls to the walls kind of thing. So what I like to do with hammer curls, I like to go heavy firstly, but again, we have to build up to the heavy set. This is an exercise which can leverage a lot of weight based on the grip that we're using. Hence why when you do certain exercise, especially for back pulling, you can pull a lot more weight. The grip is stronger. Whereas if you do supinated, it's a little bit harder, especially like supinated pull downs or high rows, anything like that, it's a little bit harder. So take advantage of that. Grip it and bro, just go with it. Squeeze, keep going as many reps as you can. Get to the point where it's burning and then once we get used to the motion you know be more structured pick up a cell 20 kilograms just take your time with it focus on the contraction 10 reps each side minimum and then build up so it's absolutely incredible and my arms they got thick power curls Next exercise, we're doing Arnold style concentration curls. So it's like a loose arm concentration curl. So you, you know, playing with gravity and letting the hang and the tension start from the very bottom of the movement all the way to the concentrated part, which is again, great to stimulate the biceps and focus on that contraction. Come and speak right now, bro. And uh, superset with overhead, uh, overhead extension dumbbells simple stuff yeah come on boys let's fucking get it bruh things have come I'm pretty sure you probably know a thing or two about my story so yeah you know if you understand that yeah it's a big thing and I truly appreciate and respect you know every single one per every single one of you guys that follow me because like again getting the option to actually talk to your body part like yeah, yeah. Know, it makes a big difference it makes a big difference yeah, definitely, so, like, definitely. I truly appreciate that man honestly nah, man, as long as you're learning man. as long as you're learning bro like that's that's that's, that's, that's why I'm here like I mean that's what I'm doing really I'm just sharing a little definitely. thing or two yeah. I didn't want to do this, but let me let me do that screenshot thing as well. Right? <laughs> Wait, you ready? Let yeah. Me. <laughs> let me just get ready. Let me get ready. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. My guy, bro. My guy. Yo, catch you soon, all right? Safe, safe, safe. Yo, what's up guys, we just wrapped up the arm workout So that was a little intro of what I do when it comes to training arms As you've seen, I just go straight in and get it done Keep the intensity high and keep the volume included in that workout Because really, volume is what's key Really, especially for arms in terms of growth and execution is very important So that is what I do for arms, for growth Really growth and strength As you can see, I don't shy away from going heavy Because with this, uh, with, with biceps, 
they require as much stress as any other muscle group. But of course, you know, just don't push it. So in terms of maintaining your form is very important. So thanks for tuning in guys. And that was my arm work. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comment section. And if you like, you want to know, be in the comment section. I'll be there answering your questions. And do check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, and of course, Facebook on the whole entire platform because I've got a lot of things in the pipeline ready for you guys. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.